It's week 16 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 109, Job 25, 26, and 27. Then Bildad the Shuhite answered, Dominion and fear are with God. He makes peace in his high heaven. Is there any number to his armies? Upon whom does his light not rise? How then can a mortal be righteous before God? How can one be born of woman be pure? If even the moon is not bright and the stars are not pure in his sight, how much less a mortal who is a maggot, and a human being who is a worm? Then Job answered, How you have helped one who has no power. How you have assisted the arm that has no strength. How you have counseled one who has no wisdom and given much good advice. With whose help have you uttered words, and whose spirit has come forth from you? The shades below tremble, the waters and their inhabitants. Sheol is naked before God, and Abaddon has no covering. He stretches out Zaphon over the void, and hangs the earth upon nothing. He binds up the waters in his thick clouds, and the cloud is not torn open by them. He covers the face of the full moon, and spreads over it his cloud. He has described a circle on the face of the waters at the boundary between light and darkness. The pillars of heaven tremble and are astounded at his rebuke. By his power he stilled the sea. By his understanding he struck down Rahab. By his wind the heavens were made fair. His hand pierced the fleeing serpent. These are indeed but the outskirts of his ways, and how small a whisper do we hear of him but the thunder of his power who can understand. Job again took up his discourse and said, As God lives, who has taken away my right, and the Almighty who has made my soul bitter, as long as my breath is in me and the Spirit of God is in my nostrils, my lips will not speak falsehood, and my tongue will not utter deceit. Far be it from me to say that you are right. Until I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. I hold fast my righteousness, and will not let it go. My heart does not reproach me for any of my days. May my enemy be like the wicked, and my opponent be like the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the godless when God cuts them off? When God takes away their lives, will God hear their cry when trouble comes upon them? Will they take delight in the Almighty? Will they call upon God at all times? I will teach you concerning the hand of God, that which is with the Almighty I will not conceal. All of you have seen it yourselves, why then have you become altogether vain? This is the portion of the wicked with God, and the heritage that oppressors receive from the Almighty. If their children are multiplied, it is for the sword, and their offspring have not enough to eat. Those who survive them, the pestilence, berries, and their widows make no lamentation. Though they heap up silver like dust and pile up clothing like clay, they may pile it up, but the just will wear it, and the innocent will divide the silver. They build their houses like nests, like booths made by sentinels of the vineyard. They go to bed with wealth, but will do so no more. They open their eyes, and it is gone. Terrors overtake them like a flood. In the night, a whirlwind carries them off. The east wind lifts them up, and they are gone. It sweeps them out of their place. It hurls at them without pity. They flee from its power in headlong flight. It claps its hands at them and it hisses at them from its place. Proverbs 19 Better the poor walking in integrity than one perverse of speech who is a fool. Desire without knowledge is not good and one who moves too hurriedly misses the way. One's own folly leads to ruin, yet the heart rages against the Lord. Wealth brings many friends, but the poor are left friendless. A false witness will not go unpunished, and a liar will not escape. Many seek the favor of the generous, and everyone is a friend to a giver of gifts. If the poor are hated even by their kin, how much more are they shunned by their friends? When they call after them, they are not here. 
To get wisdom is to love oneself. To keep understanding is to prosper. A false witness will not go unpunished, and the liar will perish. It is not fitting for a fool to live in luxury, much less for a slave to rule over princes. Those with good sense are slow to anger, and it is to their glory to overlook an offense. A king's anger is like the growling of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A stupid child is ruined to his father, and a wife's quarreling is a continual dripping of rain. House and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness brings on deep sleep, an idle person will suffer hunger. Those who keep the commandment will live, those who are heedless of their ways will die. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and will be repaid in full. Discipline your children while there is hope. Do not set your heart on their destruction. A violent-tempered person will pay the penalty. If you effect a rescue, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept instruction, that you may gain wisdom for the future. The human mind may devise many plans, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will be established. What is desirable in a person is loyalty. And it is better to be poor than a liar. The fear of the Lord is life indeed. Filled with it, one rests secure and suffers no harm. The lazy person buries a hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a scoffer and the simple will learn prudence. Reprove the intelligent and they will gain knowledge. Those who do violence to their father and chase away their mother are children who cause shame and bring reproach. Cease strain, my child, from the words of knowledge, in order that you may hear instruction. A worthless witness mocks at justice, and the mouth of the wicked devours iniquity. Condemnation is ready for scoffers and flogging for the backs of fools. And as always, I appreciate you being here, and make sure to hit that subscribe button right there if you haven't already, and click the bell so you get notifications when there's a new video. When my and head's I will see you tomorrow. Fair enough. My heart is worry worn. I know without a doubt you'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue. I need a big pink neon sign to show me what to do. I thank you, Lord. It glorifies you when you're the only answer. I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet.